Nobody arrived to our class from the vice principal who knocked on the door and surprised everyone. And the students were so excited because every day we come to school and we have a great time, but when something arrives and we don't know what it is, it's that extra excitement. Uh, we learned about inferring by guessing what was in the box. Walked into the classroom, it was the beginning of the day of a Wednesday. We walked in, the box was sitting over on the counter over there. And um, everyone was curious of what it was. It, it says, from nobody to everybody. Um, I thought it was a pillow and like, like um, a pillow. I thought there was decorations for Halloween. When I first saw it, well, Mr. Coulson was all about like, get the most exciting thing in the world. <laughs> so excited to <laughs> stuff like that. So yeah, I was pretty shocked to see this. I thought it was like a toy. He doesn't have eyes and mouth. He, he has no gender. He has no friends. He has no age. He doesn't play, uh, have hair or play basketball. Just a doll. No Nothing labels, on no it. Character. So it was nobody. Make sense? Everyone got to take nobody home for one week and they had to think of a project they could do with him to make him become a somebody by doing something that helps either people in the community or anywhere around the world. Um, and just, it encouraged like character traits in people that they might not usually show. So at first, uh, I wasn't sure how it was gonna fly. Uh, when the kid brought it in the first day, his particular day, it was so meaningful, in fact, that what he had written in his response um, almost stopped the class in their tracks. It brought a tear to my eye because of the contribution he had made for somebody else. For my Nobody project, I cut my hair for cancer. The reason I did it is because I have two family members that had cancer and my grandma survived, my grandpa did not. And I thought it'd be nice to give some girls or women some self-confidence when they lose their hair from cancer. <laughs> Um, I added this piece of hair to the nobody. Yeah. My friend added this because he had a, a hole in his heart. And the power of the project was completely overwhelming uh, on so many different levels. Uh, the first level was uh, the power for the students, learning that even at their young age they were able to make a positive impact in their community with relatively simple um, community service projects that involved their time and not necessarily money. Uh, the pride that they had in them was absolutely unbelievable. Uh, the next level of uh, interest for us was the involvement of the parents with their kids and with a school project. Schools are always looking for ways to make positive contributions and contacts with parents and this was an amazing project um, to get parents on board with their kids doing these community service projects. The next level obviously would be within the community, um, raising the profile of the school and our students in a positive way by Completing these community service projects both locally, nationally and internationally was unbelievably powerful and the pride that the school could take in what had been accomplished was amazing. Um, the last is the academic portion. When students have real and powerful experiences, um, their motivation for reading and researching and writing becomes exponentially grown. And so the wonderful pieces of writing the students produced about their projects was amazing. And I think it was the fact that it was a real experience for them that they got to write about, as opposed to, you know, oh, look out the window, it's snowing right now. Um, it was something that they had become personally involved with, and that's why their writing was so powerful. Um, from the Nobody Project, I learned that you can help people in your community and the world easier than you think, and that one simple thing can make a big impact. I learned that it was better to give than to take and to help people before you think of yourself. And it made me feel really happy, like I did something that would change what was going on in the world. It made me feel really happy. But I think that this could be something really helpful to someone who doesn't know what they want to do yet. It could kind of direct them along to, path, along to a path where they could find something that they really like. 
Uh, the great thing about this project is that it took no time at all to set up. Everything was given to you in the box, or given to me in the box. There was a DVD, uh, there was step-by-step -step instructions, there was letters to send home, there was even a rubric, which was really great, and I used the rubric to help me with my language mark for the oral and visual mark, which was fantastic. The kids loved it, and it was very easy to do. It actually took five minutes out of my day um, to set up. Um, sometimes when I read the paper, I, I feel like the world's a mess, but the hope lies with kids today. And if kids can learn early that to be global citizens and to help others, then there's really hope for the future. Uh, I think, you know, before I, we started this, no, I don't think anyone really knew how many organizations or places that really needed our help and it sort of gave us an idea of what other people could do to make this world better. Um, through the Nobody Project I learned that even though we're kids we can still help with the betterment of the world and like if we're capable of this imagine what the whole country is capable of if we really put our minds to it. So it was I think if this, if this project was just put in more schools, then like, imagine what the world's going to be like in 20 years.